Hey people, how are you? Hopefully you can hear me okay because I didn't I forgot to attach my mic. Um but my name is Makeda Valletta for those of you who don't know me, okay, also known as the body scientist, and I'm live on my IG page. I'll save and repost it to my YouTube. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with me, I have a Bachelor of Science in Exercise and Sports Science and Nutrition Science, and I just completed a Master's of Science in Medical Cannabis Science, okay? And there is, a, today, this conversation is going to be quick. I want to talk about a lot of the confusion that has been going on around um, cannabis, and I just came back from a conference in Colorado, a cannabis research conference, so... I'm going to be doing a video soon where I'm going to share um, what that conference was like and stuff like that and some of the some of the things that I learned, okay? But um, right now, I just want to do a quick video because some of you may not be into cannabis, so you may not even know what I'm talking about. But um, there's, ever since the Farm Bill that was passed, um, I think it was in 2016 or 2018, one of those years. I should know that, right? that legalize CBD and hemp, which hemp and marijuana are the same plant, it's just different percentages of cannabinoids. And if you don't know what cannabinoids are, cannabinoids are like the THC, CBD, CBG, um, you know, um, CBN, there are different cannabinoids in the, the plant. Now, THC is the one that is known to make you high or intoxicated, okay? I'm not gonna say that the other ones are not psychoactive because they are, CBD has an effect on your brain function. So it is psychoactive. It's just not known to be intoxicating. And, and, and that's just a general statement. I can go more into that in some other videos because there could be some exceptions to that rule. But um, because some states it was still illegal, you had um, a bunch of fake cannabinoids popping up in a lot of smoke shops and gas stations and corner stores. Delta, You might see Delta 8, Delta 10, all these different derivatives, okay? The THC that makes people intoxicated that they're looking for is Delta 9 THC, okay? Before it is Delta 9 THC, it is something called THCA, which is the acid form of THC, okay? It's the acid form, and it has a carboxyl group on it. So in order to, when people, in order to get high off of cannabis, that, that, um, that carboxylation group, not just get high off of it, but also use it for some of the effects that Delta 9 THC or 11-hydroxy-THC, um, you want to use it, if you are using, if you're trying to use those medicinally, you also have to decarboxylate it, which, is me, which means that you apply heat. So when people smoke, it turns into Delta-9-THC, okay? It decarboxylates. When you cook with it, I mean, not when you cook with it, when you eat it, when you ingest that decarboxylated weed, so you have Delta-9, when you ingest that in an edible, then it, the liver converts it to 11-hydroxy-THC. 11-hydroxy-THC is a stronger drug, and it lasts longer. This is the reason why when people eat edibles, a lot of times, um, you know, if they eat too much of it, 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 they feel like they're about to die, or it's a totally different effect than smoking. It takes longer to, to come on, and it lasts longer. But, and sometimes you need that, when you're using it medicinally, sometimes you need 11-hydroxy-THC as opposed to Delta-9, okay? Because again, 11-hydroxy-THC is a stronger, longer lasting drug okay so there's a lot of places now i'm seeing first i saw it on instagram people talking about thc thca weed and i'm like what is thca weed because all weed the thc is in thca form until you carboxylate it which is why when people cook with cannabis and stuff they always have to heat it up first okay if you just take raw cannabis flour and eat it it's not going to do that okay it has to be de decarboxylated so it's a confu so there's a lot of it, there's a whole area of cannabis law now because of all the loopholes okay so thca when it's an older flower okay when it's not as fresh as time goes on some of that thca turns into thc a very small amount still not enough for you to get high off of, off of it if you just ate the raw flower okay the raw flower is high in thca but the fresher the raw flower is the less delta 9 the less there's been no conversion to delta 9 thc basically so it's even smaller percentage now again it's still very small when it happens naturally okay if you have older weed and some of that thca turns into delta 9 it's still a very almost insignificant amount but when it's fresh it's even smaller 
So there's this legal loophole about what the law says is cannabis and how much THC and da 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 da. So because the law has to do with the percentage of THC has to be under point um three percent um to, in order to be considered um hemp and to be legal. So they're like, okay, well, this cannabis flower is high in THCA, not THC. So this THCA flower that people are seeing is basically just fresher weed, okay? It's just weed that is just fresher. It's the same thing, okay? So I felt like I had to explain that because it was confusing me. I'm like, <laughs> just completed two years of studying cannabis very intensely on a scientific level. And I'm like... What is this THCA weed they're talking about when THCA is what is in the raw flower? But THCA also has medicinal benefits. However, it does not activate the CB1 receptor. So we have something called the endocannabinoid system. And I should do a video just about that. But, you know, I don't be having all the visuals that everybody else has. But um, the endocannabinoid system are a series of cannabinoid receptors, CB1 and CB2 receptors, and some other receptors that the cannabinoids bind to. And then it, it elicits certain changes, okay? And so the CB1 receptors are what has to be bound to in order to make a person feel intoxicated. THC, Delta 9 THC and 11 hydroxy THC bind to those receptors. The um, THCA in a raw form does not, okay? So for those of you who might've been confused about what is this THCA flower and what is this Delta 8 and Delta 10? The Delta 8 and Delta 10 are artificial. They're from a lab. I would not mess with them. Me personally, I would not mess with them. Even when you have spice and all that, that was art that came from cannabinoids from the lab that they were using to research and people started putting them on the street and it's making people go crazy because it's not it's way stronger than um the cannabinoids, the the natural ones, okay? So hopefully that made sense. If you learned something from that video, please like it. Please share it, because sharing is caring. Leave any comments that you want. Did you already know what THCA weed was? Were you confused? I don't even think most of the videos online do a good job answering that question. But look out for me to do a video probably tomorrow talking about what um, my experience at the Cannabis Research um, Conference in Colorado. For those of you who are interested in cannabis medicine, you might find the conversation interesting. And I am always available for one-on-one -on -one counseling, okay? Um, whether it's nutrition, fitness in the gym, stuff you got stuff going on with your body, you want to use cannabis medicine for things like um, just hit me up, contact me. Um, because if you are somebody who wants to get off your medications or you want to prevent getting on medications, that's what I do. Okay. The Body Scientist 81. Make sure you follow me on YouTube at The Body Scientist 81. Email address The Body Scientist 81 at gmail.com. And make sure you follow me on YouTube. I'm going to put all that stuff below. And take care of yourself. If you want to live your best life and take your body to its highest level and learn all the ways you can do that from the outside in and inside out, I'm your girl. Okay? But until then, have a great day. Take care of yourself. Keep it moving. Get some sun on your skin and all that. Eat some good food and all that good stuff. Okay? And I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.